All right, listen, so here's the deal. I don't usually make this kind of videos and when I usually do them or if I do them, I do them for two reasons or most of or any of the reasons. So one of the reason being that to prove a point or I'm pissed off. In this case, I want to prove a point. So here's what happened, right? Uh, all I had to say this in my previous video was this. Listen to this. If you bring back Christy, bring back Christy in a way that her moves are completely revamped. He, she has a different martial arts style, right? So soon after I said that, uh, after a few days or so, recently, like say yesterday and today, I've been getting uh, I've been getting comments on Christy. So this is all about Christy, right? All I had to say was Christy about what you just heard before this, and all I had to say was. If you're bringing back Christy, bring back Christy in a way that she is revamped or she has a completely different move style or just if, if you had to bring her back completely, bring her back in Tekken 8 where it would make more sense where you could replace Eddie with Christy, right? So that's all I had to say and then the backlash happened where or I, I don't know if it's a backlash or people just don't like how I explain stuff, but this this is what happened So I'm just gonna read this out to you. I'm gonna put it on uh, the screen as well So Munye says that who is nobody wants that because a lot of people wants Christy back with their own moves and their own capo What's wrong with this? Well, let me stop you on there New moves. I agree with you new capo. How how are you gonna give new capo to a? What are you gonna do? Are you gonna give her Chloe's moves and you're gonna combine Chloe's moves with capo? That wouldn't make sense, that would be look funny as fuck. Or either are you gonna give her wings, give her the devil gin, and let her do capo in the air? How? Explain to me how. How would you how would you capo? How would you ca how would you change capo? Capo is capo. And alright, that go going on. How is this a waste of slot? If she comes back as a character not as Eddie, but as a new character. So from what I've seen or what I've played Tekken, so I've I played Tekken since Tekken 3, right? And Tekken 4 basically was uh christy was introduced as a character as the original character for tekken 4 and soon after that she came back and she was there in all the tekken so in tekken 5 she was a pallet slot pallet slot of eddie or eddie was a pallet slot either way pallet slot or not they're one of the same characters apart from christy having different grabs and where she gets better okay situations in most cases than eddie or since she's a female character she has different hitboxes because she's a female character and most of her combos are easier harder to do harder to do than Eddie's. apart from that i see no difference with uh eddie or um christy all right moving on uh kuma and found that both take the slave slots both are exactly the same without any differences in terms of gameplay all right so kuma and panda they were there not as a dlc character but they were there just just when the game started as a new roster right uh so that's fine kuma and panda they were there start the game they are not they are not set they, they were not brought back as separate dlc characters so kudi and her can be both in the same season pass see i don't care i literally couldn't give two shits about who comes in dlcs maybe maybe i do care because we we, we do play with the characters but not to the point of extent where i would say why is she here why is she not there why is he not why is he why is he not there see Literally, they can put any character in the DLC pass as they want to put them and people would definitely go ahead and buy it regardless, right? So what I'm saying is there, There's no point of that. There, there's no point of being bringing back any duplicates, right? For like for example Raven, we already have Master Raven. Why would we need that? So apart, Yeah, apart from here uh, apart from some moves being here and there and apart from Raven being first in the game and people have really got attached to Raven more than Master Raven since Master Raven is her, it's, it's her first Tekken 7 so that would make sense but <clears throat> yeah not to the point where having where you're having two duplicates where you could have a completely different character right completely different character with different moveset uh, so there's no need to trash Christy just because you guys want the same character back since season 5 Literally what I said, I am not trashing on any character, I'm just saying that no point of bringing a character back with the same moveset. What, do, be, let's be honest guys, do, like, do you guys need two capos? Do you guys like, do you literally need two, two capos in Tekken? Do you need two Master Ravens in Tekken 7? Do, do you guys actually need that? No. Alright, moving on. Next he says that uh, uh, this, this is another common by on uh, today actually there, there was another comment by a guy called kingsley he says that they can't change christy move to a new martial arts sets i agree 
I totally agree. You can't change Christie's moves if you wanted to change the moves in the Capo moveset. But if you want to change, if you bring, if if you could, if they could change Christie like completely in a moveset, that would be great. But is it possible? Highly unlikely. Highly, highly unlikely that it's not possible. And yeah, if if you had to bring back Christie, bring her back in Tekken 8. That would make more sense, right? So Christie has always been a Capo. If she returns, she will get a revan Capo or moveset. How? Again, how? How How would you change a capoeira moveset? You can't! What would you do? Give her more extra 3-4 legs? Um, by the way, your content sucks and you are biased. This is this is what this is what takes me off as well. So this guy comments saying that uh, my content is biased just because I told that I, I just predicted if Christy should be in Tekken or Tekken 7. Someone tell me how. Why? When? Okay, moving on. Just like so, he makes comp so next he makes comparison to Armor King and King, right? Armor King, King, King is a full-on grappler. Armor King basically has poking and grappling, right? Completely different moveset. You can feel the difference. Grabs, grabs are different. Grabs, grabs look different. The way it grabs uh, act look different. The chain throws are completely different. Poking style is different. You, you wouldn't compare King and Armor King, that's a night and day difference. Same with Bake and Horang. Horang, uh, Bake is a completely different, uh, it feels completely different to how Horang plays and you can't compare those two, so, right? But when you play Christy and Eddie, you can see it's a Capoeira difference. It, it, you can see that, you, you cannot see the difference, right? You cannot see the difference. You can only see the differences in grab and some of the combos here and there maybe, but apart from that, everything is the same. Right, I'm, I'm not hating on the character, right? If Christy was there, I, I wouldn't mind. But I'm not hating, I'm just proving a point saying that uh, Christy and Eddie, same characters, even Tiger, yeah? So here's another point. Why not talk about Tiger? Why, why don't you guys want Tiger back in Tekken 7 or in, on, in the future Tekken game? You say that he, he's not canon, he disappeared in Tekken. They don't give a shit about why, how, uh, if, the, if the character died or if the character is back, brought back to life. We have Negan, we have Noctis, we have Geese, we have Akuma, right? What, what, so what do you say about these characters? What do you say about these guest characters? Hmm? They are there in Tekken 7. Will they make it in Tekken 8? Highly unlikely. Well, due, maybe due to popular demand, some of them may come back in Tekken 8 or maybe in other future Tekken games, but that is yet to be seen. One thing is there is no night and day difference between AD and Christy, apart from here, some moves and here and there. Alright, moving on, moving on. Uh, also, you forgot that Kuni has not been in canon in since uh, not been canon in the game since Tekken Tag Tekken 2. She might be unique, but come but, but what comes to canon? Be? So right. See, now talking about canon, right? Talking about canon. Was Zafina canon in any of the Tekken games? Zafina only appeared in Tekken 6. They bought back Zafina in Tekken 7. Hmm. What do you have to say about that? So listen. All I'm saying is. I'm not. I don't mean to get any of you but hurt. But all I'm saying is that they don't give two f's about canon or non-canon. They they're gonna bring back character, DLC characters regardless. All right. Now, if it was if it was if it was something about the main part of the story, for example, in Tekken 8 or for a new Tekken game, yeah, then I would agree. But DLC characters, they don't have a story. They don't have they don't have a big story to play in any of the main roster or main story of Tekken 7. So they can bring whoever they want to bring. I've been saying this a million times. They can bring back whoever they want to bring back in Tekken 7. If we have a season 4, Christy might come back, Raven might come back. It's entirely up to them, right? But all I'm all I'm doing is predictions. You guys don't have to get buttered about it. Uh, some of you guys, but some of you guys are cool with it. But all, all I'm saying is, no, stop it. Stop making me make videos like this. I'm not the one for YouTube dramas and such. And yeah, that's that. That's what I had to say. That, that there's a lot more. Uh, there's a lot more comments about that in the in, in my previous video. I'm gonna link that. I'm gonna link that in the description. If you guys want to go check it out, check it out. I'm gonna put them on the screen as well, so you can just pause it and read it anytime you want to uh, read it. But all I'm saying is, Christy and Eddie, same characters. Uh, Tekken Five palette based. You guys have to understand that having dupes instead of a different character doesn't make sense right so i'd rather prefer a different character over dupes yeah 
uh, unless you revamp the dupe in such a way that she doesn't signify any difference any any similarities to her counterpart hmm? that's all i'm saying that's all i'm saying uh but yeah if you guys want to still talk about this comment down below i'm going to respond to your comments uh whatever it may be and we'll see how this goes this this is my first time making a video like this i don't know how it turned out but hey i tried anyways you guys are awesome stay safe peace Legends never die.